Hey guys, Gil from Having Fun back again and really thankful for those 50 subscribers that we get to the channel. That's amazing. We actually hit the button of getting the 50 subscribers and now we're making the goal to 100. If we can make this channel to get to the 100 subscribers at that point, I'm gonna be doing something special for everyone. For that, I'm gonna be making an entire session of not building just one or two Gundams or Gunplas but I will do a special thing I'm gonna be doing a challenge and that challenge as I saw in many other places people building like 10 or 15 Gunplas in one day or even less or even more I'm sorry and yes that sounds like a lot lot of things but let me tell you if someone can manage it that's me that's me I have the enough patience and time and I can give it a shot and no problem the thing is one of the important points that I want to uh, be calling out is that making that still happen sorry if you hear the, uh, the background noise that's for my for example my my little fountain, fountain, water fountain that I have because of the weather. I need to have like, uh, like, uh, I need to have a humidifier, and that's my humidifier, my manual humidifier. And the thing is that I'm gonna be making a build of not only one or two or ten because I don't think I can make ten if I don't have the time. But I will make a challenge with the timer on. I will make the challenge be a build of 24 hours time lapse of making a, um, building all the Gundams I have if I can if I can manage to do it uh, first of all my gun plus I'm not gonna be making like for example um, hold on are you gonna be like cutting and everything like this and runner those things and then cleaning it will take you one day only no the challenge will be in the next one before that day comes i'm gonna be making my run my couple of runners everything be ready so it's gonna be painted and everything like that it will be a, a long time and i will take that as a time schedule to in my in my notebook and everything not in my notebook, but my in my country says the laptops are notebooks and everything like that. So I'm gonna be making it my sketchbook or something like a little note. I'll be writing down how much time they spend on painting those uh, models, parts, and everything. Because there are many complicated color corrections, and for that I'm gonna be making a little bit more organization about it. Now. As I saw, many of you guys, uh, some of you enjoy it, the miniatures of uh, Warhammer and everything from the Cruise City. But come on, it's Cruise Over, and I'm trying to finish this uh, box set uh, because I want to play the board game. I want to play it, I want to sense it. So, uh, as I told you before, I was doing many crossovers and everything like this and that, but I realized I'm going to be stopping making the crossovers. So, from now on, there will be no other crossovers, it will be my own kind of way making the characters of the Cruise City pop out but other like for example from the box itself they're gonna be looking the same and they will be maintaining the same some things I'm gonna be changing no they're gonna be looking the same but not like 100% from the box and some of them are gonna be giving the heroes for example the heroes I'm gonna give in my own style I want to give heroes my own style because I want to have my own color styles and yeah that would be looking awesome one of the things that I wanted to be taking part of is that my community is growing up, 50 subscribers, I know, I know, it took you so long to get 50 subscribers, I think you should give up or something like that. I keep having those constant comments from people around me, and they say you just give up, don't talk in English, English is the, in my country, sorry to say, but in South Korea country, People are saying that English is not the dominant language, it's our language, the Korean language. And I say, no, that's not correct. People these days to learn a language, like an Asian language, Japanese is really hard. Chinese, hard. Korean, not easy, it's hard. Three languages are hard and they say, if you know Korean, if you know Japanese, if you know Chinese, your IQ is over 500. 
and that's no no sense. My IQ, what does it have involved my IQ with the language? So for me, an expectation of me, uh, of everyone, I think, learning a language, you should move to that place, live a, a couple of months there, and learn the language there, because the places that you learn, for example, the uh, language schools or some, for example, the academies and everything that they have teaching languages and everything, they will not teach you 100% because in each country, the, uh, the accents in my country is Paruni, that means in the amounts of, for example, in each province, they have different uh, words, but they mean the same, but it's their own style. So, for example, it's the South people's style, like, for example, in, in USA, oh, hold on, cowboy, you're saying that you are from, from Texas? The, te the Tennessee person style, the Texas style, Dakota people style, uh, Detroit and everything. Those kinds of like accents. It's different to uh, an actor how you sound out in, the in your primary language. But moving on from that point that I've been saying, I'm really happy that we hit that 50 subscribers and that's better. Because my community is being constant together. It's not like it chain itself or for example I have 1500 subscribers and then I lose 1000 in one month because I didn't upload anything. There are people that understand my situation here and I really really happy to see that those 50 subscribers that are out there, those guys are actually persons that have good heart. People with good heart will gonna be living a peaceful life without any issue but those that are for example hysteric uh, non concerned at all and they have like many issues anyways and they don't enjoy many hobbies like we do then i'm gonna be saying those kind of people not gonna be enjoying a full and happy and peaceful life someday they will have a, a hit in their in their entire life and they one day they will be like <laughs> actually be crying out no like they were crying out they will be uh, trying to redeem themselves but at that moment they will be a little bit late a little bit late so for that guys today's painting session that we're gonna be having is a continuation is a continuation from the crusade series i already primed it. it took me like one week before but because i have been working around and everything uh, everything that i've been doing with these uh, miniatures is uh, priming it and i give the liberty myself to paint uh, with the primer of black and then over top with the uh, catch to the highlight and i made a close-up so you can call it out in the meantime when i finish this entire intro uh, each one of them has a lot of uh, detail pop out and one of the things i want to be telling is that um some of the miniatures itself, they look amazing and everything, but, there is a but, um, I've been asking about people who knows about this and colors, and I was having this in mind, what if I paint these two heroes in black, but I need some like uh, other more colors, so I, I know that the gold colors are gonna be coming out pretty well, but the other amount of colors, like for example, um, what the... The yellow, green, orange, and anything with black, they don't, they wouldn't look, big. they wouldn't be looking amazing. But for example, the bats, they always look amazing with black. The, remember, the wings are in the inside, not the outside. Uh, many people uh, actually mistook that form of the bat, uh, of the bats. You need to paint the inside different color because of the inside of the wings and outside it's the same it's gonna be full black there's nothing to change but after you do a little highlight they will be looking amazing now the other thing that you want to be telling out is uh, uh, yeah can i call it if the vampires in this course do you need to paint the the eyes or something you want to paint them go ahead i'm gonna be painting them with a, one solid color it's gonna be red that's the other color i'm gonna paint and for that, the other fellas, I know the bear one, the, the healer, this is going to be like, for example, my magician or my sorcerer in my entire adventure group, a magic person. So with that being said, I think I'm going to be starting by painting them up and in a pretty fast way so I can finish them up today. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. 
and yes, please do not forget that always helping the channel in a way that you can do it is by clicking the like button, subscribing, if you don't want to subscribe, leave a comment, if you don't want to leave a comment, leave a like, if you don't want to do all the three things, then just watch the video. I'm not gonna be angry like other people who say, um, guys, the entire amount of people that are watching and not subscribed to the channel are not giving their moments to give a like or comment. I'm not gonna be giving that because I know that you people are reasonable people. I know I'm not talking to animals, I'm talking to human beings. By saying it one to two times or the third time, that is the last time that I can give you, you I think you understand. Because of this and that, I'm just gonna be stopping here and just leaving this message to you guys. Always helping someone in a matter of way, it's a good willing to help. And that way you will be end up with a good and big reward. Even if that person doesn't reward you or someone doesn't reward you, in the, the destiny of life will reward you with a good thing. For example, something that you will wish for for a long time it will come out of your hands as a reward for your deeds so guys enjoy the entire of this video and yes until the end we finish the entire crusade box set we're gonna be sticking it a long time and i think um these three weekends that i'm gonna be having um we're gonna be continuing now so remember the challenge is still on guys do not forget let's hit that 100 subs to the channel and if you can a higher up no problem do it if you can do it and it will help to the channel as well see you i'm just gonna be moving stuff here around and work here in the workstation i'm filming the workstation see you in a, in a bit guys bye bye i wanted to talk about what i was based off of myself it was on the bats and also some religious stuff in the world. Now the bats, why I have chosen them as one of my part daily looking and stand up of the animals? Well, because primary that those animals that you mentioned that say they are vampires, they are vampires, but they have some kind of qualities that not resembles or done a. a are they are not assembled themselves to be the same as the bumpers in the movies or sci-fis because one of the things that you want to watch before you actually mention something is that the most important things about the bats are their outstanding system immunologic system and also their kind of feeding system they feed themselves in a base of blood and how they do it they do not do it by just piercing like uh, sticking their teeth into the victim's skin so they can begin to suck uh, suck the blood away like it was in a vampire movie no it's not they actually peel it off and they just make like a little needle point like a bite over to the skin and with the bite on the skin, the blood will come out and they will just only lick it, uh, lick it like it was some kind of liquid to drink. For example, uh, a dog. Well, let's take an uh, example from a dog. The dogs, they have the same way of licking stuff because the bats, they have their kind of tongue. If you do it a microscopical zoom in, they're actually sucking it up by the veins of the tongue. Another most important fact that you wanted to see is that they resemble somehow to these be to the be inside again and they just begin to drink it and drink it like that like it was some kind of uh, drink energy drink stuff. In this point that you want to see is that no animal will be looking at the same or difference at all. Another fact that the bats have is that they do not see very good in the night. As many other people will actually be saying, oh, the bats, um, I remember they actually they work good in the nights and they are like midnight hunters. No, they're not. 
they have one specific ability that they have that specific ability is the echo like ecosystem uh, like ecosystem now it's like the sound by a way of using like vibrations or uh, from any anything from anything that's the echo sound location yeah that's the echo sound location they use that ability to just like for example receive from a great distance any kind of signal that for example an animal or an object is flying towards them or falling towards them uh, and they just receive that signal pretty fast that they can evade it so one of the things that they have as a tactical advantage as well is that echo sound system they have those kinds of system work as well with some other mammals that for example aquatic as well from the water that for example the orcas the dolphins and also the sharks if you do not know about the shark the sharks they have the same weight of ecosystem like the uh, sound behavior with their nostrils the nostrils they begin to uh, capture that and uh, that wave signal into the water and they begin to receive like it was a dangerous stuff or it could be like something like uh, like something you can hunt it down pretty easily now another thing that i want to say about it's me saying the importance of the paint jobs that we're going to be using today as always a little preview of my miniatures with the primer on it that i go ahead and give it in two kinds of primer one is the black that is the base coat and the second is a white coat of the uh, primer itself mm, some kind of the white but it's not it's gray sorry to misunderstand misspelling that word there i'm really sorry about it and yes somehow with this kind of hot temperature that i'm living uh, it's really really bad for my health but it, even the coats of the primer on the miniatures, each one of them, they have so much detail that it will catch up to the eye and the light. Looks amazing. Don't forget, using this kind of technique will come in handy. Now there is this video, what is this about? I did mention that I was painting the bats and also two important things. Two people that are for example the sorcerer and the mage. One of the things that I want to mention with this video is that there is a lot of gold stuff doing in the religion uh, faction that is on these days. And the religion faction they have a lot of gold. They have silver, gold, copper, every kind of... Uh, uh, important material that they have for example anything that it's brighter for their eyes or something close to God that's the point of this by my own way I standardize myself to follow the ways of the church by uh, idolizing some kind of uh, stuff object that it's made from an artificial way of the hand of the man and make to become something important and something like give, to give hope and faith to those that are in need by making something more closer to God and that is by using the uh, entire metal metals that we have in the earth that are for example the gold, the, the copper, the silver and also the diamonds if we go to a church there are some people that will specify with a lot of gold by using it like this and that and yes even they cover themselves their church in gold by this uh, photography that I came up in the web, I'm really happy to say that thank you for you, the person that showed this video. I'm good to share this video that is a helpful way of information to the people these days. For those that don't know, and I for myself, there was really dumb the way it was like this. These are the miniatures that I'm gonna be basing off, and yes, they are the ones that are gonna be based on the kind of stylish way on the church. By what reason gives of them is that I told you before, they're gonna be one of my inspiration because I always wanted to see 
how one person like the females or the male person would look with a black and white like he dress or something like it was some kind of funeral way or some kind of sad distinguished ceremonial ritual style with it myself i'm gonna be enjoying by painting these fellas in this kind of historical way and give it a little bit of the religious part to take part in this uh, entire session yes i'm pretty happy to say that those are religious person thank you for coming and yes enjoy because it's about you these are all the paints remember none paint that i'm using here it's going to be left aside or not taking this entire tutorial session some paint that if you're seeing that it's missing there then it's some paints that i add to the entire session and yes do not misunderstand this is a way of me showing the, the a little preview of what paints i'm using and i hope that you understand that always show you your paints and before you even say anything if you didn't catch all the names of the be of the paints you can stop at some point the video and yes you can re rewatch it again
Now here in this part I'm picking myself up by just adding some of the details over the miniatures. For example, the orb that it has on the staff and also the uh, eyes from the mage and the also staff that he has. One of the things that I want to recall in the sorcerer is that it's a healer. She has some powers in the hands so I, don't, I shouldn't be leaving and you also shouldn't be leaving those hands empty without something more amazing to give. I give my time by giving it some darker color of blue and then rising up to the lightest color that is electric blue from the Everlast game color sets. And yes, you can give it with a tight finish and not by just painting like really crazy, you just need to give some thin lines to just resemble the kind of waving energy that it has from an orb. Also you can give it a little bit of little, uh, little ones, little lines between those uh, those areas that are from left to right, those little areas and then you can afford to make like a more sparkling effect over to those orbs. In this other thing, I like to give to the mage uh, an energy power from its light. Like for example, he's casting with his light as, uh, of, the, of his eyes as well, he's like casting some uh, powerful skill by just uh, grasping all his energy and itself. Now, I wanna be talking about the other things that is going to be the ending of this, the final product itself. So. One of them is that I will enjoy telling you what it was amazing from these miniatures. Now that you have made it here to the last part, I'm really happy to say that I've enjoyed it. This was one of my first uh, giving tries of my own imagination style by inspiring me myself in the modern days by looking to the west, the left, the right, everything, and even in the internet, I give myself time to realize that we are surrounded by magnificent, magnificent art around us. It's just that people these days don't give a little bit of time to just realize it about. And yes, guys, I was really happy that you, the viewer, has reached to this point to see this video. And also, thank you for those critics. Uh, personal private message, I accept all those private messages. But please don't send me a message at uh, five, 3 or 4 in the morning because I will not answer at that time. I will be sleeping. And I uh, understand that and I accept your apologies. But in the end, guys, my experience and for you that it's looking at it, you can give your own imagination style to your miniatures and no one, no one, no one will say anything about it. Because you're giving your own kind of happiness, your own kind of art style into this miniature. And yes, some of them can come out pretty amazingly, but some of them can come out pretty badly. But that's something that you can learn and experience for the first time. 
because afterward you have the more work you can do you will end up with an amazing and awesome good job product that you have been making it for a long long time so guys thank you for watching in the end and i hope and i'll see you and catch you in the another lastly i hope it's the last part of the course city entire painting session so we can enjoy yourselves with the board game in a game set stream online thank you and i'll see you catch you in a new one